Looking ahead, a big event happening all weekend long. Two big NASCAR races at Charlotte Motor Speedway's Roval Course. And for the first time this year, fans will be at the races in Concord. Sports director Nick Carboni is at the track today when fans got a sneak peek. Nick, what did fans walk away with? Well, Fred, I think fans are walking away from today with a sense of security. The Speedway has been very serious about this from the beginning. They want fans here, but they want to do this safely. And I think the fans that were here today feel very safe about coming back this weekend. Capacity will be very limited, but the Speedway just happy to host again. Oh my gosh, man, we're event people, right? I mean, this is what we do. Um, when we knew that the governor was going to allow this, I mean, it was like Christmas Day around here. <laughs> A select group of fans on Friday getting to walk through the protocols for attending this weekend's races. Hand sanitizer everywhere, face coverings and health checks, as well as socially distant lines for merchandise and grab and go food. And the best part of the walkthrough was actually the sit down. Fans got to come into the track and get seated socially distanced, of course, in the grandstand, just like they will be this weekend. I do feel safe. I think they've taken the necessary precautions to make sure that you know the fans are, are first. I feel very safe. Uh, to his point, the precautions that we're going through when you first get here, the signs, uh, the lines, the sanitation, the fever checks, and the social distancing in the stands as well. The Speedway can normally fit nearly 100,000, but for this weekend, it will have just under 7,000. We realize that for every four seats sold, it eliminates 16 seats. So it's a bit of a Rubik's cube by the time you lay it all out. We get to be here, hear the, hear the cars, maybe some, feel some rain, but uh, it be a good time. Yeah, those familiar sights and sounds back for these fans that can be here. You know, the Speedway had the benefit of talking to other NASCAR tracks that have hosted fans already, and they were at the Panthers game last week as Carolina hosted fans for the first time, and the Panthers, conversely, were at the track this past spring to see how they operated. So a lot of synergy as everyone tries to do this safely. Live at Charlotte Motor Speedway, Nick Carboni for WCNC Charlotte. It's going to be quite the sight this weekend. Nick, thank you. And we will have complete coverage of the races all weekend long on WCNC Charlotte. On Saturday, you can catch the drive for the Cure 250 starting at 3.30. And then Sunday, you can catch the Bank of America Roval 400 coverage. It starts at 2.30.